I love my life. I love my body. I love myself. Yeah. Welcome to the Shaft Show. My mission is to find world peace through intimacy. And my vision is to make Stockholm the epicenter of connection and intimacy. And the way I'm doing this is by creating juicy events, getting people together in Stockholm, called Conscious Ways to Connect. And we've got a special one happening on Saturday the 8th. It's called the Aquarian Festival. I'm an Aquarian, it's my birthday, I'm going to be 40 years old with my Aquarian witch, the fellow founder of Aquarian Tantra in Stockholm, Claudia. And we're going to be coming together to get people together, celebrating the birthday of all Aquarians in Stockholm. Other star signs are welcome. But I went home to Bexhill recently, uh, where I'm from, and I shot a little video in the childhood bedroom. Um, I'm here to celebrate my life. I turned 40. 40 years old and I look like this. Ugh. Eight minute workout. So um, I was chatting to my mum earlier and uh, I was uh, telling her about, you know, life, love. Like I'm blessed to be in a place where I could just I like, I've got nothing to heal anymore. With all this tantra work and personal development, um, we just talk about love, sex, intimacy, religion, strict devout Muslims, um, and, and the meaning of life. And what I do for a living, yoni massages, sacred sexuality, working with women. Um, and we speak about this very peacefully. And I always have a good laugh with my mum and dad. As uh, my dad's got the same pain in, in his arms, I've been doing my eight minute workout, I've got a bit of pain here and I was just massaging his arms and it's very strange for um, Muslim people to touch each other because touch isn't a thing. But I was able to touch his hand. In fact, I don't want to stop touching his hand because it's the most amount of connection I've had with him for ages. Uh, they live in Bangladesh. So, this episode is all about If I could turn back time Just like Cher So basically, if you do Tantra, you can, you get younger This, this is a beautiful side effect of Tantra But if I was to go back in time And see my 30 year old self It would go a little bit something like this No Hey, Shaft, you're 30 years old. Whoa, you've changed. You've got really long hair. I know, I'm very fabulous and many things have changed and you don't really have to worry about much. What do you mean? Like, like I, I'm, 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 I'm a hipster now. I, I work at Saatchi and Saatchi and I, and I love my advertising job. Ah, well, you're going to discover in a few months a thing called Burning Man. And this is where you'll get lost in the desert for three days, get fucked up on acid, and then you'll, you will leave everything. What do you mean? Life is all about getting married, having kids, and being in the rat race, isn't it? No, you've always known you've suffered from an existential crisis. So basically, you'll have a thing called an awakening. It won't be your first one. And you'll basically think that this is a society that you've always wanted to live in. Money doesn't exist. Everyone's making out with everyone. There's a thing called polyamory. What do you mean polyamory? My life's been like, I only know monogamy. I was brought up on Disney. No, 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 no. You will really get into this polyamory thing, but there will be a time where you, you know, call the police on one of your girlfriends and it won't work out very well. But that's going to be the shift from monogamy to polyamory. It sounds awful. Well, it kind of was, but you're going to grow from it. You're going to become really, really good at teaching people how to have transparent communication around relationships. You'll even develop the five pillars of transparent love. What does all this mean? You'll become a bit of an expert in relationships. I've only had disaster after disaster. I wanted to kill myself. I mean, we're in the bedroom I grew up in where my best friend had sex with my fiance. It's awful. <laughs> No longer. You'll actually enjoy breakups eventually. You call it the relationship ritual. This doesn't make any sense. A lot of things won't. A year later, 
you go into a desert, take a you know how much you love ketamine? You're gonna take a shit ton of ketamine and you're gonna think you're a unicorn. <coughs> what do you mean? You're gonna put all the advertising skills into practice and you're gonna change the world and bring the unicorn consciousness into this reality and millions and millions of people will look up to you and say, wow, he's a unicorn, I'm a unicorn. And then the whole unicorn thing would be all over every single shop, every single like mug, t-shirt, anything, even your bag that you buy on your 34th birthday. Well, have a unicorn on it. Oh my god, what the fuck? This makes no sense. Yes, you'll go to Jerusalem and channel uh, the 10 principles of unicornia. It's a thing. And then you'll have another awakening. What are these awakenings? They sound really cool. Sadly, they're not. They're horrific moments in your life, which are also known as a crisis or a mental breakdown, where you see the fabric of reality disintegrating, as in you just realise you're a bit fucked and you need to sort yourself out. Oh really? Okay, right. Um, a bit like the time I, ha I was on the dialysis machine uh, because I had too much um, red wine and cocaine. No, 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 no. This is far more severe. Okay, right, what else happens? Uh, okay, right. In 2014, you will have a moment in a desert where you can't get drunk anymore and the whole thing will fall apart. You won't know who you are anymore and then you go on this magical adventure where, oh by the way in the future a lot of the Marvel comics that you grew up on become like actual films and a Doctor Strange film is going to be made and that's going to be pretty much your life. You become a superhuman, you discover a thing called Tantra. Tantra, isn't that where you don't say it? There's a lot of stigma about Tantra, but you're going to be the one that brings it into reality. Really? Me? Yes, you're going to get really good at one thing. Yoni massages. What's a yoni? I, I know I'm pretty good at massages. Yoni massages is where you help a woman step into her full power and unlock their full potential through the vagina. This <laughs> sounds pretty cool. Yes it is, but you'll, find, you'll get a lot of judgement for it. Also, your body will change, you will get longer hair, you'll start being possessed by deities like Shiva, Krishna, also you become really really good at threesomes because of Krishna, Hanum, Hanuman who makes your body like this, and Lakshmi, you'll stop working. What do you mean? I, I'm skin, like it's really hard working in advertising, I work like seven days a week and due to my insomnia and alcoholism I just work through the night. Well, you won't need to worry about that. You'll do a thing called sex magic. You will buy another house in London by yourself on a whim and you will discover that you actually don't need to work that hard. Money will just start coming in. What do you mean? I'm in my parents house, we just talk about money all the time. <laughs> well, there's a thing called abundance and you start using these words like abundance, synchronicities, uh, manifestation, gratitude, I don't even know what that means, and compersion. These are like, what? Don't you worry about it. You're going to have this thing and you're going to do little mantras every single day and you know how your parents do that every single day? You know, our parents. Well, you're going to make a shit ton of them <laughs> and you're going to be saying stuff, repatterning your brain until you become you. Okay, right. Um, all sounds pretty interesting. Um, anything else? You will travel the world running conscious orgies. You will also be known as a polyamorous unicorn sex cult leader. You'll do viral videos that will reach millions and millions of people. You will be known for being a unicorn, for Tantra, and being a sacred sexual Jedi. Are you like, do I direct these videos? Cause you know, I'm a director. No, your hobbies will be so renowned that people would want to know about what you're doing and this is how you'll inspire so many people to be themselves. But I gotta go, um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, you save your dad's life. He has a stroke, you help him. How? You know, you know that Yoni massage stuff I was talking about? It's really transferable skill. 
I give my daddy only massage. No, 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 no. There's a thing called body de armor, and you're gonna press a few buttons, and he's gonna cry for seven days in Bangladesh. But you don't have to worry about that. Shiva will come into your body, and he'll just do everything for you. Oh yeah, I get possessed, don't I? Yes, you do, and it's really good fun. So I'm off to Brighton on an adventure. You're gonna have a good life. Don't you worry about this. You got this. And when you have self-doubt and fear, just think about breathing instead of or or you just need to breathe. In fact, I'm not gonna give you any advice because you won't be where I am if you got advice. So fuck up, fail, and enjoy. Because you're going to be a better version of yourself than you could ever imagine. Oh, hang on. There's a 50-year-old version of me who's just popped up in this room. I'm off. See you later, 30-year-old self. I'll see you later, present self. 50-year-old self. Tell me what happens. You look amazing. You've got beautiful white hair. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Shaft Show, Stockholm's number one conscious talk show, because I don't think there's anyone else out there doing it. So please subscribe, click on all of the links below for the latest episodes of The Shaft Show. I can't create conscious ways to connect without you. So if you're feeling sexy, juicy and alive, come to these events, get together, let's make Stockholm a place of connection, juiciness, aliveness, because it is. I, I basically need 144,000 followers. This is what I saw in Yoppo, by the way. I, I just made up that number. To create a movement of people connecting together. I want to do flash mobs. I want to be creating huge events in public spaces where we all sing, I love my life, I love my body, I love myself, and we all connect together and make out. So, let's do this, and remember, the biggest gift you could give each other is your presence.